you might press a like, share, subscribe, and comment. Down below, you all, today we are actually going to be talking about Darcy and Stacey, you guys. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Florian is still jobless, and he has no intention of ever finding a job. No, he said, he, he took Stacey to the beach, he said, because he wants, make her her happy. Happy. he wants to make her happy because Darcy has made her upset. He wants to You made upset. her upset, you idiot. He just... He just realizes that when Darcy is the scapegoat for all of her, if she's not in a relationship with well, I have to make her the scapegoat about something. Right. So that Stacy can be all focused on Darcy and can get off my ass about my unemployment. So he takes Stacy to the beach. However, if you really don't want to make Stacy upset, why don't you take your lazy ass and go find a damn job? It's been a year and a half since your tail got your green card. Thank you. It's so annoying. You know how many people will just be so happy to have a damn green card? Do you understand? And you have had it for a year and a half and you've done shit? Oh, it just pisses me off. So anyhow, he tells Stacy, he lies to Stacy, that he's going to go find a, a job or whatever for a go for a job interview. And she's all like in the camera. Florian is taking the initiative. You know what I wonder? Remember she had put Michael, her friend Mike, out on the prowl to go t um, tell Florian he needs to find a job? Mm -hmm. Did Mike ever come to her? We haven't seen that. Has he come and told her, like, you know, what, what, what you your said? findings? Yeah. yeah. So anyway. I um, haven't seen that. No. So Florian, um, Stacy comes in front of the camera. Oh, he's taking the initiative. And I just love that. So he's doing great. No. The man is not going for no job interview. He's going to go pick up Georgie without your knowledge. Yeah. Because he needs to bring without Georgie your here. <laughs> he, your no. He needs to bring Georgie here for drama. For drama. So you can focus on Darcy. Yes. So you can, exactly. Because he knows you're easy to distract. Exactly. Your and he also thinks that Darcy will get together with Georgie, and yeah. that will be a whole other year or two. We're going to be dealing with this foolishness. I don't know why Georgie's falling for this. And here comes Georgie. Florian never liked you. How are y'all brothers now? Girl, I don't know. Where did that come from? Maybe it's a foreigner thing. They're both from East Europe. Here he comes, and he's talking about how he has changed. I have changed, not just the girl. I've changed from the inside out. The change you see on the outside with my head has got. It's also happened on the inside. There has been growth. <laughs> George, did Florian give a damn? No, Florian is like, yes, I can see. Georgie has actually changed. <laughs> I also did that. It's too much. It's too much. So Florian is going to have some dinner for all of them to sit with Darcy and Stacy and George. Foolishness. Get your man back, Darcy. Foolishness. And say, screw your family. Yeah. Don't even let them know y'all did. And then here comes Darcy with her delusional self, too. Uh, she's about to go on a little date. Uh, let her sister shave her butt. Why she that is her on whole camera? Butt. And my thing is, I don't know. What do we know? It's too much. My thing is, she didn't really shave anything. She was in her little bejeweled thong, got up, did bent over in doggy style, had her butt in the air, and all the sister did was spray some perfume down there. It's like, okay, you're done. So what was that scene all about? Nonsense. To show your your derriere Nonsense. for the men to see on the TV? Rubbish. Like there was nothing there. Nothing. Whoa, was, what's was, going yeah. on down as you spread your leg? Like the whole I thing cannot. was just too much. I'm like, too much. You, you didn't, like this, what is this, extreme sister? I Are y'all on the wrong show now? Yeah, I think so. Like, think it was too much. It was too much. Bent over it all this. I was like, when is the cameraman actually leaving? I don't know. And then here goes, um, oh, such a message. From the time, remember when they had that Turkish bath? And they were all in there naked or whatever they were doing. I was like, okay. But um, here's the thing. Where was I? Oh, yeah. So Darcy stares up. She's talking about this guy, you know, because... I need to have a pair of butt, you know? Because ah, uh, we, be might, so we might be getting down. We might be getting down. Because you know, we're gonna be a power couple. Uh, I hate that we do this as women, but I'm so guilty of it as well. Power but couple. the thing is, like as women, oh like God. literally a 
a man will say hi to us. Yes. Or we'll go on a date or we'll be on some mediocre dates. It's really not much. We start fantasizing yes. about yes. our life, the children we'll have, yes. where we'll be living, oh, where we'll be traveling. I'm guilty of it too. But I just, I hate that we're like this though. Like, it's so annoying. Like, you start seeing stargazing. Like, you are on cloud nine. And the man's still on earth just wondering, oh, what you want to say? Can we, can you come back down, please? And no, I, I'm up here. I want to stay here. Because I have expectations that uh, you do not know about. I do. But we're still doing that. Women stay, have their, their head in the clouds. This is why we always end up with a holes. Yeah. We have got to stay on Earth. <laughs> uh, like, no, not even on Earth. Hold on. We've got to go down to the cotton. Because that's where we're going to see them clearly. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. But yeah, this girl came out. Know, she said, most powerful couple. I got with life. I'm like, what? what? Most powerful couple. As you crazy as he looked. Oh my god. god. He didn't even see you to your car. No. I, he didn't even he see said, you to the door. He's okay. Bye. I, I, I know. As he hurried you along, probably thinking next date, she's about to come. So here she is um, in the car to go meet him. She's all excited. He, Then she calls him. He doesn't even call her. She calls him and says she's on the way. And he says, oh, yeah. I have to come soon. Um, I'm with my girls. Listen, yeah. Darcy. And then she's like, "Oh, um, well, can you call me later and, and whatever?" But she asked him, "Are you? Is everything okay?" Oh yes, I'm fine. I'm great. I'm with my girls. I will have to cancel. Um, she's like, "Okay, um, well, I guess I'll hear from you. I will call you on Monday. Not even on a weekend. <laughs> Not even on the day before the weekend. Friday." He gonna call her on Monday, the day work starts, to let you know that he gonna be at work. He can't see. You. Yeah. Anywho, she and Stacy went. They showed their little things to Johnny Ma, and he was very excited about it. They had their cup of pink. They had a cup of bright blue, and he was very excited. And so they're going to have House Eleven on. And I love their little age of uh, the number eleven. I thought that was beautiful. And that's, that's after about their the only brother. Good thing about that yeah, brand. Because their brother, I think, was born May 11th, and 2011. I don't think that's when he passed away. But yeah. I was, I was just very underwhelmed. Yeah. So it was very basic to me. But the guy says, "Fine, put it in our shop." He probably needs exposure because I have never heard of impossible cakes in my life. So probably needs exposure. And um, also, the father, she did tell the, her parents. That because you know her daughter and Nico graduated. Yay, Aniko! We love to see kids graduating. Um, she graduated. I thought it was so cute. The sister giving her like a uh, album yeah, of yeah. them together. That was very cute. Um, Darcy tells her parents, her mom and dad. This is the first time I even heard the mom speak when she said, "Oh, Georgie's gonna be the best man." And the mom was like, "Uh, oh, like that doesn't sound right." And yeah. the father was like, "What?" And then he was like, Stacy needs to, you know, talk to Florida. This should not happen. Well, I was surprised at the first time he said something about Stacy. He probably thought she was lying. You know, and I think that got Darcy all like, yes, parents are on my side. Because when she finally meets, meets Georgie in the preview, she yells at him, curses him out, and walks off. I say, good on you, Darcy. That man did nothing wrong with your system. <laughs> You better go get that man back. Ooh, that okay. man was tall, and according to you, he had a big wing, mm -hmm. and he was fine. Obviously, knew how to, you know, take care of you. And he liked you. And he, the kids loved you. And the, the kids loved, and he was a cook. Yeah. And you're not going back, yeah. girl. You don't be delusional. Be delusional if you want to. I would not. I would not be sitting down there being delusional. I'll say, you know, Georgie. I will make a little bit of a scene, but I'll be like, you know what, Georgie? I think we need to have a conversation. A private. And we go and we get this relationship popping again. And we'll go, we'll be best man and we'll be the best woman, right. whatever. And we'll be dating all that. Yes. We'll be smiling at Don't each other. Them. Don't yes. tell them nothing. Nothing. Yes. nothing. Don't even tell your kids. Don't tell nobody. Mm. That's why we'll work again. Mm. Yeah. But that was all yes, for you guys. Darcy and Stacy. Yes, you guys. Can't wait for next week. So excited. When Georgie comes. 
Yes, you are. But and he does look good with that haircut. I, I thought he would, but he does look nice. I, I like him with the long hair. Mm-hmm. I just love men with long hair. Mm-hmm. Long hair and tall men are my type. Yes. But yes, y'all, it's Mary. <laughs>